Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Quest for Faith with Brian. So, what's going on with the Catholic Church lately? Have you guys seen the news out there? I know what you're thinking. What scandal just happened? Oh my gosh, was there something else that Pope Francis probably did? No, it's none of that. First off, let's talk about all the things that has happened that the Vatican's come out with lately. Like, I want to start there. Because there's been nothing but good news, which is honestly rare. Um, one of the things that I used to say all the time when I was joining the Catholic Church back in 2019, 2020, was I felt like I was joining the Catholic Church in spite of Pope Francis. But I'm starting to like the things that I'm seeing coming out of the out of, out of the Vatican. And I don't know. It, all of it just seems good. But I think other people are too. So what do I mean? So a few weeks ago, I had posted a survey. And a few weeks ago, I had posted this uh, asking how many people joined this Easter. And you can see there, we only had 22 of y'all respond. But 30 plus was 41%. Even 25. You look at that, that's massive numbers coming in. And so I started looking into this. I'm like... Because at our parish, we had 27. We had 18 baptisms, 27 confirmed. The parish down the street from my uh, from, from where I live, uh, they had 30 baptisms. Or 30 confirmations. I don't know how many baptisms. But something's happening. And you look at this. This is out of the National uh, Catholic Registry. What is attracting converts, right? We're looking at this. This is a crazy number when you start looking through this. And let me get down to where I was talking about. Here we go. Nationwide numbers aren't available yet, but certain dioceses are reporting increases of 30, 40, 50, and even 70% increases. Non-Catholics can, can become Catholic. We already know this, right? On, on, typically on Easter visual I joined on Pentecost Sunday, but that was because of our situation. So it can be a little different for some people. But majority, if you're joining the Catholic Church, it's going to be during the Easter vigil. So the, the, the day before Easter. But it's, a, it's crazy looking at these numbers. You look at here, the Diocese of Fort Worth, Texas jumped. The numbers number of converts, those that rose from 896 at Easter in 2023 to 1,544 at Easter 2024. A 72% increase. That is jaw dropping. And it keeps getting even better. This isn't even an American thing. I was looking at this. Well, well first, let's start off here. So, this is my own diocese. Um, and let me zoom in. No, this isn't my diocese. Sorry. Wrong article. Um, but this is in Western Oregon. They also saw a number of, uh, of new indiv uh, of individuals entering the Catholic Church. It's just everywhere you look, there's more and more people choosing to be Catholic. And it's it's a beautiful thing to see. Um, and even France, I don't know if y'all saw this, but if you this is amazing. Adult baptisms in France rise significantly for the fourth uh, uh, fourth success success the uh, the fourth year in a row. I'll just read it that way, huh? And the church is growing. It's growing everywhere right now. And this is what's what's crazy to me. So I think there was um, over 12,000 confirmed. But out of those 12,000, 546, three adults were baptized in 2023. And I believe in 2024, it's gone up even higher. Um, they got the numbers here somewhere down here. Sorry, guys. Uh -huh. 2024, the record high, 36% of those choosing to receive the sacrament will, will be the ages of 18 to 25. Uh, before COVID, the representation, only 23% of adult catechumens. So this is interesting. And one of the things that I'm, I'm starting to notice, and my wife pointed this out to me because she was reading through the Reddit 
um, a Reddit Catholic stream that, that she was looking at. And she was saying that most of the stories that she's seeing out of people joining the Catholic church, they were atheists before, or they weren't from a Christian background. And this data here in France kind of pulls that together. Let me see where I saw this. Yeah, here we go. This year, the proportion of those Muslim heritage converting increased from three to 5%, while 38% of converts did not hail from a Christian background. 38% of converts. That's massive, y'all. That is so many people. And you look here at, uh, let's see here. Yep, a thousand people overall joined uh in the in the diocese of charlotte um welcomed in more than more than a thousand individuals for the sacrament of baptism confirmation and holy first communion at 92 parish parishes and missions like these numbers are staggering people this is more about the boom here in france um this is pretty good gra look at this 2021 2022 these are adult baptisms so yeah, here we go. This is the numbers from, from so there was 5,463 in 2023, 7,137 individuals were baptized in France this year. 7,000. And I think the total number that were confirmed in the Catholic Church is upwards around 12,000. So more than half um, of adult baptisms in 2024 had not been baptized before. And I think that's pretty significant. And the reason I think that's pretty significant, especially in a country like France, which historically is very Catholic, right? Like even if you, we, we all know about the, 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 those individuals that are Catholic by culture, right? Like they'll still get their kids baptized. They'll still go through first, uh, they'll get their Holy communion and then they'll do their catechism or their uh, confirmation. And then they don't go anymore. Right. Cause their parents don't, don't push it. But, what we're seeing is this onslaught of people joining the Catholic church that have not grown up in a Christian background. That is phenomenal. We're in a time where we're actually seeing growth in an area you wouldn't think. Just like in France, like, like I said, my wife was going through this Reddit feed and she said most of the individuals there were atheists or something else, not Christian, before they converted to Catholicism. We're living in some really interesting times. And, and it made me think, like, what's happening? Like, why? And to me, the only answer I could say is God's moving and, and shaking things up. He's pulling people into his church. You know, it, and we were seeing that on the ground level there with those articles. I think in the um, in San Diego, I found an article that said there was uh, thirteen hundred individuals uh, joined the Catholic Church this this past Easter in twenty twenty four. Um, you know, Shia LaBeouf just joined. We got um, oh, I mean, there's so many of. Uh, people that have just joined that are famous. And I think it's an interesting time. And I think what's happening is that I think people are looking for truth. They're looking for something solid to, to hold on to, and they're finding it here in the Catholic faith. But they can't... I think one of the things that I'm going to say as a convert, so cradle Catholics don't get too upset with me. You need to live your faith and know your faith. Because I knew so many Catholics growing up. I knew a lot. Like my best friend was Catholic growing up. And he, he was one of those, right? They'd go Christmas, Easter. He did his confirmation, and then he was done. I don't think he ever went to church after that. Um, and I think a lot of Protestants or, um, 
atheists or other people, when they see Catholics that aren't being genuine about their faith and living a crazy lifestyle and just like, well, I'll just go to confession. I'm good. Like that really hurts. But it's interesting that we know that there's tons of Catholics out there that aren't living their faith, but we're still seeing this massive increase this year in people joining the Catholic faith. And I can't help but think that, that it's two things. They're finding truth in our Catholic faith, and they're connecting with people that they see living out their faith. They're like, I want to be like that. I want to do that. And then the numbers of the young that are joining is astounding. I think in France it was saying that it's just increasing every single year. It's younger and younger individuals that are choosing to be baptized. So how can we keep this going? How do we, as Catholics, keep this trend up? And I think it just simply starts with relationships. I think it starts with us being authentic to our faith, being honest about our faith, knowing our faith, and being able to have conversations with individuals. Because the only way, the way that I'm just thinking of Rome, shocker, a man thinking of Rome, how Christianity spread after the apostles was from relationships. They didn't have street corner preachers. Right? That wasn't a thing. You would have been executed immediately. But it was individuals meeting other Catholics, meeting Christians, and going, wow, they're different. Why are they different? Who's this Jesus they keep talking about? Oh, I see. Wow. They just seem so peaceful. And so I think we need to take uh, take notice of that. I think we, as Catholics, need to make sure that we are being strong in our faith, that we are reaching out and building relationships with other people. And when we have that opportunity that comes up, when someone asks you a question about, man, why do Catholics have so many statues around there? And you have a good answer for them. That makes sense, right? It could be as simple as, you know what? Yeah, we have those statues because it's like our family on the wall. It's like, don't you, do you have pictures of your family in your house? Oh, you do? Yeah, that's for us to know, hey, there's St. Francis. This is so we remember this saint and what he did. That's a simple answer. I mean, there's, there's more theological stuff you could go into than that, but that's a simple answer for you. But I do think... It's God moving in these people's hearts. And if it is, it seems to be, you have so many baptisms that there's more baptism, more than 50% of the, of the converts in France um, are adult baptisms, which means they were not baptized as infants, right? And that 38% of those converts did not come from, from a Christian background. That's staggering numbers. So we, I've been saying for a long time, and you've heard people say it a lot, that we're living in a post-Christian society. But I think this is proof in the pudding that God's not done. We know we've won. We need to act like it. We need to pull as many people as we can into this as we, as we possibly can. So I was thinking about this the other day. What would happen if each of us throughout our lifetime maybe just got one person to convert? Through our relationship, building a relationship, talking about our faith, doing Bible studies with Protestants or atheists, whatever. And each of us got one individual to join the Catholic Church because they see the truth in the Catholic faith. They see the beauty of the mass. 
we open their eyes. But the only way that's going to happen is if we are taking our faith seriously and choosing to be bold in our Catholic faith and having these conversations. So I, I just uh, think about that, y'all. Think about, man, whenever I'm having these conversations and somebody's bringing up some Bible verse, jump in on it, right? Because I think a lot of times we're, we're always worried. We're always worried about, oh, they're going to think this is crazy. But if they're a genuine friend and you've built up years, you they respect you, right? I mean... If you get somebody you just met and they're like, oh my gosh, from this conversation, I'm going to become Catholic. That's God's working and you know it is. Like, I mean, all of this is God at work. But if you've built a credible relationship where somebody uh, genuinely is a friend of yours, but you guys never talk about your faith, and how well do they know you? And even if you're like, man, they're going to think this is crazy if I start talking about this. They might not. Because you've built up kind of a deposit, deposit of faith. No, sorry. You've built up this reputation with them that, no, this guy, is, he's a good, solid dude. Oh, well, he believes that or she believes that? That's interesting. Yeah, I don't take them as somebody that just uh, believes something crazy. That's really interesting. Maybe I should look into that. It's all it takes. It's just a simple conversation. So I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next few years. I hope this trend continues to skyrocket. I hope that we just keep seeing mass amount of converts out there. But all of us as Catholics, need to be open for these conversations and need to be showing what it's like to live a Catholic life. Because people are obviously seeing this and going, I want that. So praise God, glory to him. This is amazing what we're seeing happening right now in the Catholic church. So, that's all I got for you guys today. Pretty much a good news message. So uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Really do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later.